dressed as the dead for Halloween night would become far too much of a reality for one Canadian citizen. Hello, true crimers. This is another deadly Halloween. Viewer discretion is advised. But first, remember to give this page a follow as this is my backup page and the only page I have right now. This was 18-year-old Taylor Van Deest from Armstrong, British Columbia in Canada. On Halloween night 2011, she and her friends were really excited to go trick-or-treating for the last time before they became too old to do it. She would be dressed as a zombie that night. I think in 2011, zombies were a very popular costume idea. So she would leave her house in the early evening hours, and as she was leaving, she was constantly in contact with her friends through text. The walk to her friend's house would take her down some railroad tracks. It was secluded. It was dark. The last text message that she had sent to one of her friends was that she was being creeped. And then they never heard from her again. It was only 10 minutes into Taylor's walk when the text messages suddenly stopped. And when she didn't show up to her friend's house, the concern grew. Her family was alerted, and so she was presumed missing. So a massive search began, um, especially along the trail she would have been walking. And about two and a half hours into the search, they would find Taylor. She was found alive alongside the train tracks, but she was unconscious and she was horribly beaten. She was hanging on by a thread. Unfortunately, several hours later in the morning, she would die in the hospital. Taylor had been strangled and she also had been beaten over the head several times. She never woke up after they found her, so she was never able to identify her attacker. The coroner would report that she definitely fought her attacker. They actually found scratches along her own neck that came from her as she was trying to pull his hands off. She also got her attacker's DNA under her own nails. There were people who heard screams in that area, but again, it's Halloween night, screams are normal. Someone claimed to have seen a man running from the area and lurking around the area, and they described him looking like this. In April of 2012, they would get a DNA match from the skin cells. It matched a 26-year-old man named Matthew Forrester, who had been in that town that night on Halloween looking for sex. He says he followed Taylor that night down the train tracks until the area was dark enough. He then claimed he was looking for consensual sex from a stranger. When she resisted, he said that she fell over on her own accord and hit her head on a loose pipe. But the evidence of a fight would prove his story wrong. He did also sexually assault her. He was convicted in 2014, but got a new trial due to a jury issue. He then pled guilty to second degree murder and got 17 years to life. 